Hi everyone, and welcome to this Fantasy Art Friday video. In this video, I'm attempting a drawing of a desert dragon, and I've been really excited about trying this. Uh, thinking about its design, and imagining it living in the desert, and how its design would help it match and blend into that environment. So I wanted to use sand colouring, along with some grey colouring, uh, adding some rocks and stones along its back, so that it would blend into the environment when it's sleeping, and it would look like a rock formation. Um, so while working on this, I was thinking back to a time a couple of years ago when I went on a road trip across America and I visited a couple of the deserts in Utah and Arizona. And it was really fun to think about the reference photos I took back then, just thinking about how this dragon would match that environment. And I found that super fun to kind of blend the two, uh, thinking about a real world environment and then trying to think about how this dragon would match that. For the inking of the outlines, I decided to use a Pigma Micron 02. And I decided to stick with this pen throughout the entire process because with this pen you can angle the pen tip and then you can adjust the line thickness in that way. And I find it really fun and I think it's a good way of adding more of a dynamic shape to your line work. Um, along with that, instead of just adding outlines to this drawing like I usually do, I decided to add a bit more detailing, uh, a, a few more details than I usually would. Uh, usually I rely on the Copic markers and the Prismacolor pencils to add the details on top, but in this case I wanted to rely on the pen work to add a few more scales. So as you can see I just started adding some, uh, some basic outlines of scales across the dragon's body and its face. I was just interested in seeing what this would add to the final drawing. Drawing. And I also chose to add a comic panel for the dragon to overlap, so it looks like the dragon's head is poking out of the page. After working on the outlines for a couple of hours, it was then time for the colouring, and I chose to use Copic markers, starting off with barely beige to add a full layer of colouring to its face. Then I was using cool grey 3, 5 and 7 to add some colouring to the stones around its face as well. Then inside its mouth I used a rose red marker for the tongue and the gums. Then I used a buttercup yellow and cool grey 3 for its teeth. Uh, for its eye, I added some shading around the area with the cool grey markers, then I used a very bright cerise marker to add some colouring to its pupil. And along with all this, I made sure to add some highlights with a mixture of my white Prismacolor pencil, a white jelly roll pen, and my Uniball Signo Broad white ink pen. Oh, and also, another way for me to add some more depth was by using a black marker and just blending it into some of the shaded areas in inside the dragon's mouth. After that, I wanted to continue adding more texture and detailing to the scales, so you can see the lines I added before with the, the pattern around the dragon's face. Uh, with that, I wanted to use a sand marker, just going over all those lines. Then after that, I added some shading with cool grey 3 and 5. Then I was using the white Prismacolor pencil to add some highlighting along the underside of each scale, so this took quite a long time. Uh, then I used my Uniball white ink pen to add some bright highlights along the top left corner of each one. So it was a long process, but I really feel like it added another layer of detail that I was really happy with. I actually wanted to use the same colouring technique for the rest of the dragon's body, so starting off with a barely beige, then I blended upwards towards cool grey 1 and 3, and then after that I added all the patterning with the, the sand marker. Then I continued adding shading to each scale with the cool grey 3 and 5. Then I added the highlights with the white Prismacolor pencil and the Uniball white ink pen. Then I continued to add more shading on top of all of that. And this was a very long process. It took the largest amount of time through the whole drawing process, just colouring in all these individual scales across the dragon's body. Um, I found it really relaxing to work on though. It was a lot of fun and it was a definitely a very interesting and new process that I had never tried before. So it was exciting to give this a try.
Continuing on from that, I wanted to colour the rocks on top of the dragon's back, so blending between a black marker and cool grey 5 and 7, then adding some highlights with the white Prismacolor pencil and the Uniball white ink pen. And I made sure to colour in all the rocks across the dragon's back before working on the wings, because I wanted to create a, a transparent effect by adding the colouring over the top, and hopefully that works out. Uh, I used a rose red marker for the wings to match the colouring of the inside of the dragon's mouth. And then I continued to work on the dragon's claws with the cool grey seven and added some highlights. Then I worked with the same colouring technique for the dragon's tail. Using the same markers with the barely beige, the sand, the cool greys and all the highlights in the same way I was doing before. Then it was time to work on the foreground and the background. I wanted the foreground to be a bit darker, so starting with a sand marker, then blending across with barely beige, then as I faded the colouring upwards towards the top of the drawing, that's when I also used an eggshell marker. Uh, also making sure to colour in the rock formation in the far background. Then I continued adding some shading underneath the dragon with the cool grey 3 and 5. Then I coloured in the sky with a pale blue grey marker. Then I just continued adding a few highlights and details, sharpening up some details and also adding some particle effects, before also adding a small highlight around the dragon. But I didn't want to add too much of a highlight, I didn't want to take away too much detail that I'd already added, so I tried not to add too many highlights this time. Then after that this drawing was completed. Overall, it took about six hours to complete, and this was so much fun to work on. It was really interesting to try a different technique with the scales, and I'm really happy with how they ended up looking. So please let me know what you think, and also let me know if you have any suggestions for future videos. If you want to see more stuff like this, then feel free to subscribe, and any likes or shares on this video, they really mean a lot to me. Uh, if you want to follow my progress and see photos before I post these videos, then please check out the links in the description box below to check out my Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And once again, thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for the support. I truly appreciate it and I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you all soon.